Oh, hello. So today is an important day for me. I am going to be changing my nose stud to a nose ring. <laughs> the reason I wanted a nose piercing is, I don't know if this is fun to admit or not. I think that people who have nose rings are more attractive. If I see a girl who has a nose ring in, I think she looks nicer than one who doesn't. So, so my hope is that if I get a nose ring, I will also become more attractive. <laughs> is, that, is that utterly ridiculous? About two months ago, I got myself this stud. The person who did it was called Felicia. She was really good. Her Instagram handle is bodymod by Felicia. If you're in Stockholm, check her out. I was kind of nervous when I first went in. The idea though was to get a nose ring. But what I didn't realize is that in order to have a nose ring, you have to start off by having like a stud, which is what I've got now. And the reason that you have to have a stud is because a ring will move around a lot inside the hole, for want of a better word. That will cause a lot of irritation and potentially infection, whereas a stud kind of stays still. She started off by just kind of looking at my nose and cleaning it or whatever and then she painted on a dot where she thought it could go and then said go to the mirror and check it out what do you think. And I was like I have a choice. I, I just presumed that there was like one place that you get your nose pierced like as in on your nose that's the place that it is pierced and then that's it but she drew the dot I went and looked in the mirror and I was like, okay, maybe a little bit higher and to the right or something. So she rubbed off that one and did another dot and said, how's this? And then I <laughs> was like, yeah, that looks good. And then, yeah, she pushes the needle through. You can't really see what's going on. You just, so like, I think at one point I had like a big needle sticking out of my face, but you can't really see. And one thing I didn't expect to happen, which apparently happens to everyone, is that your eyes just stream with tears. She, I guess, puts the, the actual stud in and tightens the top bit and then... There you go. I now have a nose piercing. One thing that you have to make sure that you do is tighten the stud often. One of the first times that I was cleaning it, I was over the sink uh, and I just washed my hands to make sure I was nice and clean. And then I was over the sink cleaning the top and then the head came off and just fell into the sink. And my plug is just a circle with like six or seven holes in it. And I was like, oh my God, it's already gone. I've already lost it. What am I gonna do? But luckily the, the head of it was caught in like the suds from the bubbles. So what I do now is whenever I was cleaning it, if I was worried, I would put down some like toilet paper over the plug so that it can't come out. I spoke to a few people and they suggested a, a good place here in Stockholm for me to go and get the ring. Uh, it's at a place called Calm on Södermalm. So yeah, I'm gonna head there now. See you in a minute. This here is where I'm going, it's called Calm in uh, the middle of Stockholm, in the middle of Södermalm. So uh, yeah, let's go get this nose ring. So I just came out, I've got my ring. Let's head home and try and put this bad boy in. All right, finally. It's time, here is the ring. I just got one that was like a plain circle and the idea is that you unclip it, put it through and then clip it together. It cost me more than I was expecting. It cost 975 crowns, which is roughly, I guess, 90 pounds or maybe a hundred dollars. But I guess if you want good quality jewelry, which I do, then you need to pay a bit more for it. I think in future I would maybe buy one online. I'm really worried I'm gonna drop everything and lose everything. You can see here, that it just clips open. Doesn't go very far, I thought it'd go further. It doesn't, so we're just gonna have to deal with this. I'm gonna use you as my mirror. I hope that's okay. Oh! Okay, I dropped it like I thought I was gonna. So you can see here I've just got the end of the kind of stick in. I'm definitely gonna move to the, to the mirror. I can already feel that this isn't going to go well. So let's take you over there. Okay, so I'm now sat on my bedroom floor in front of my bedroom mirror. I think it's gonna make for a much easier way of me doing this. That's time for the ring. How am I ever gonna open this enough to do this? I feel like it's never gonna get in. Ow, ow, it hurts. Oh, okay. It's kind of in, maybe. There we go, I've done it. It's probably best if we go talk about what, what just happened over where you can see me properly. Let's go back to the living room. Okay, 
back where you can see me in some good light. So this is what it looks like. The way I ended up getting it in was that I had to, instead of before, the first time I was trying to like go round and get both sides in at the same time, what I actually had to do was just kind of try and get it in this hole, which obviously I can see, and push it round and then once it was in, just keep going around until I could see that there was an opening and that, that it was kind of through. So if I turn it, you can see the opening here, which I guess I should try and close just so that it doesn't come out somehow. But then I guess I can just turn it and hide it. The first thing I've noticed, which I wasn't expecting to notice, is that I can, when I like move my head, I could feel it moving. Goodness, I'm really not used to this yet. Okay, maybe if I could see it better. I don't know, is the ring too big, perhaps? Do I need to get a smaller ring? I'm not sure. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful if you're thinking of getting a nose piercing or you're thinking of getting a nose stud or you're looking to change your nose stud to a nose ring. I didn't really know what I was doing and I just kind of went out into the world and did it anyway. I hope this video has been informative to you and something that you can look at so that you don't make maybe the same mistakes that I did. And if you're unsure about whether to get a piercing or something like that, like, I think before in my life I was always too scared to do something. I've realised, just do stuff. Just do what makes you happy. Go out and try something. If it doesn't work, right, I can just take this out. It's gone forever. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Does it look good? Does it not look good? Please tell me it looks good or my ego will not be able to handle it. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please click on my face up here and that will let you subscribe. And as always, there's another video for you just here. Cheers.